Hey, good morning. It's Dr. James. I hope this message finds you happy, thriving, and well. And this morning, I want... <laughs> <laughs> you know, every now and then I'll get a private message in Facebook and 99% of them are awesome. There's always that one person who, you know, kind of gets under your skin because they, they just don't like, they don't like you for whatever reason. And that, that happens seldom. But you know what? I do my best to love those people back. And I always write them back and say, I love you. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> but, but the other day I had a great one come through. One of our community members was like, gosh, you know what, James? How do you keep the optimism going? And you talk about optimism a lot. And what is it about optimism that can really be essential for us these days? Because I'm feeling pessimistic. I'm feeling overwhelmed. And gosh, do I know what that feels like? Man, it, we, we can look around the world and we can feel so pessimistic. We can get cynical. We can, we can go to the dark places. It's so easy to do because there's so much reinforcement <laughs> to... Uh, to disavow a practice of optimism. But I wanna share with you two reasons in a simple practice that will help you to promote optimism, an authentic, real optimism, not this just rose-colored glasses where you're kind of oblivious to what's going on. I think optimism is a superpower. There's two things I wanna share with you that happen with optimism. Number one, physiologically and neurochemically, your entire being is blessed by optimism. Because what studies show, this actually comes out of the Mayo Clinic, when we are practicing or lifting our optimism, we actually help to lower stress hormones. We actually help to lower systemic inflammation. And as a reminder, systemic inflammation is associated with Alzheimer's and cancer, immune dysfunction, anxiety, depression. Everything that we want nothing to do with, systemic inflammation contributes to. And as we promote more and more optimism, it actually lowers systemic inflammation. So that's really, really awesome, just from a standpoint of our longevity and our happiness and in terms of our mind, body, and our spirit. But number two, I'm really cool. <laughs> I said I'm really cool. I'm really cool with this idea. On New York Life, every single year, they hire roughly 15,000 people. That's kind of their new, uh, the new group of employees every single year, agents and whatnot. It's a lot of people. And one of the things they've learned about is that Optimism is a great indicator of whether or not someone's going to be successful. And what's interesting, most of those 15,000 people, they are doing cold calling. They're doing sales work. It is wicked hard. And because they're there in their first year, they don't have any contacts. They are getting slammed. They are getting no's there. Man, you talk about having to have resiliency. Optimism is huge in New York Life's research because what they found out, of those 15,000 people, when they researched them, they found out the top 10% of those 15,000 people who registered in these tests, the highest level of optimism, only, again, the top 10% of 15,000 people, I can't do the math, it was like 1,500 people maybe out of 15,000. Those people, that small amount, they actually equate to nearly 90% of the entire sales. Those top 10%, nearly 90%, <laughs> I'll give my hands, of the entire sales. So. We could live longer, we have a healthier neurochemistry, a healthier physiology, and we just may be more successful and make more money. That's kind of cool and a wonderful side effect, huh? So there you go. Um, thanks for asking that question, community member. I love you, and I love you, and I love being optimistic together. It's a superpower, and it's something we can build. And the simple way to build it is literally look at your life, Look where you want to be going in your life. See yourself and use all of your senses to feel, to see, to be, to experience on every level what it would look like to be there. Stanford did some research and said that literally helps us to flex the optimism muscle. So let's get ripped <laughs> with optimism and uh, go out there and rock your world. I love you. I believe in you. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.